We're on the June 2011 exam. We're on page three, which uh, interestingly only has three questions on it. Let's do them quick. Four identical projectiles are launched with the same initial velocity, but at various angles. Which diagram represents the initial velocity of the projectile that will have the largest total horizontal displacement, also known as range? And the correct answer is 45 degrees. In the Regents level, we really don't go into the math of it as much as we would in AP, but you are told it's 45 degrees. 70 degrees, they would launch it uh, up very high, but not as far. 30 degrees would have the greatest amount of horizontal velocity, but uh, it wouldn't be in the air for as long. 45 degrees is the balance of horizontal velocity uh, and time in the air. Correct answer, 45 degrees. Question 12, two forces act concurrently. The word concurrently means at the same time on an object. Two forces act concurrently on an object on a horizontal frictionless surface as shown in the diagram below. Let's look at the picture. We've got uh, an object, six newtons there, 10 newtons there. A net force of four newtons in this direction, just a simple tug-of-war type of calculation. And if it's frictionless, it will uh, begin to accelerate in this direction because there is a net force. So let's read the question. What additional force, when applied to the object, will establish equilibrium? Equilibrium means no acceleration or no net force. So I would need an additional 4 newtons, and that would be westerly. So that's the answer I'm looking for. And 16 to the right, nope, 16 to the left, 4 to the right, that would not, and 4 to the left, 4 going towards the left. There's the answer I'm looking for. It's always good to know what you're looking for and then go find the correct answer. And finally for this page, question 13. As shown in the diagram below, an open box and its contents have a combined mass of 5 kilograms. Why did they tell you it's an open box? Well, let's see what happens to it. Uh, combined mass of 5 kilograms. A horizontal force of 50 newtons is required to push the box at a constant speed of 1.5 meters per second. So there's a net force of zero. The net force is zero because there's zero acceleration. Constant speed means zero acceleration. So if I'm pushing with a force of 50 newtons, that must mean the frictional force must also be 15 newtons. So there's a lot of stuff they could ask. Let's go see what they're asking. The inertia of the box and its contents increases. So they're asking about inertia. Well, inertia has to do entirely with mass. Oh, that's why it's an open box. We're going to be pouring stuff into it. Let's look at the choices. Uh, the inertia increases if there's an increase in the speed. No. Mass of the contents of the box. Yes, that's the correct answer. Magnitude of the horizontal force. Nope. Coefficient kinetic friction. Nope. Choose the correct answer. Inertia means mass. Mass means inertia.